PeteTools.com. G'day guys, Pete and Pete's Tools, how are we all going today? Hey, it's Christmas time again in Pete's workshop. Christmas time comes about 10 times a year here at the moment. Yeah! Hey, uh, you might remember guys, I did a review on this $200 plasma cutter. It was the first machine I brought for about 15 years and I thought to myself, I thought to myself, this one's all right. So Pete didn't want to stop there. So what I want to try and do guys is find the best plasma cutter under $300 on the internet. You reckon I can do it? Anyway, I'll try and do it before I go broke. <laughs> anyway guys, that's what this video is about. What comes in the box for a $225 plasma cutter? And this one's a little bit different to this one guys. Because this one actually comes with the big P80 torch, like I keep talking about if you watched any of my other videos. So we'll see if this thing actually works, eh? <laughs> anyway, guys, same as usual. You like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day in the comments below. Oh, if you want to see a video on this machine here that I did a review and an unboxing on, I'll put some links in the description below. Let's get into it. So guys, I just brought this off the internet. Amazon, I think it was, cost me about 245 USD, United States dollars. By the time I get it to New Zealand, if you've watched any of my videos before, you know I'm based in New Zealand. It cost me about 600 New Zealand dollars, 620, so it's not cheap doing these videos, guys. But like I say, someone's got to do them, so I might as well be Pete. <laughs> anyway, guys, this first video, I'll show you what you get for your money, what comes in the box. I'll do another video maybe in a week's time, and I'll show you how to assemble the machine. And then we'll do another video and I'll actually review the machine. Because you've got to know what you're getting if you're going to get into this sort of stuff, guys. You've got to know what you get in the box and, and how to assemble it and all that anyway. If someone had to told me that when I first started plasma cutting, I could have saved myself a shitload of money. But I just learned by experience. So that's why I'm reviewing some more machines, guys. May as well, like I say, someone's got to do it. May as well be big. Yeah. So guys, this got shipped out of the States. California, I think. Uh, about 8,000 miles away from me. So like I say, you guys are lucky because you can actually get it locally, but it's a long way away from where I'm buying it. So I asked them to put it inside another box, and they did that, and there's a couple of bits of foam in here to hold it, so we'll have a look, see what happens. Shake, shake, shake. It's not too bad, actually, travelling all that distance. It's not even bloody beaten up that much. So we'll take them out like so. More packing, get rid of that, get rid of that. More packing, so the unit is actually quite small, guys. I'll also tell you something else, guys. The frickin' speed it gets here is quite incredible. And under a week, halfway around the world, I think that's pretty good going, actually. But anyway, if I order stuff locally, it takes me like a week and a half to get it from 200 k's down the road, so. Anyway, they must be doing something right. So what do we got, what do we got? Yeah. So well, here we are guys, we've got a, uh, a P80 plasma torch, I don't know what length it is, and it's got the material on it, the anti-flame material, so this is, this is different to the other one I showed you, because this comes with a big torch, if you've watched any of the other videos guys, you know I quite often put this torch on other machines, because I like a bigger torch, and this is rated up to 100 amp this torch, so with a 60 amp machine or 55 amp machine what this is, it should cut like no tomorrow, <laughs> So I've got an instruction book, what makes a change, some of them you don't get an instruction book with it. This is our Pilot Arc machine, uh, 50 amp, and they run right up to 80 amp. What else we got? Got some more paperwork, I'm going to read that later. We have got, a, I'd say this will be the air filter thing at the back, yep, it's just an air filter. So far so good, nothing smashed up, which is all good. And like I said, this is about 135, 145 bucks. I'll put a link in the description if you want to go and have a look at one. Pull it out of there, Pete. Got some plastic jammed on the top of it. What else we got? We've got a earth lead here, guys, which is crappy as usual. This is right, this looks really, really light, this earth lead. We've got some consumables, two or three sets by the look of it. And we've got a lump of hose. Get rid of that piece. <laughs> hey, Santa Claus is coming to town again, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna end up with a whole garage full of plasma cutters. 
So, what have we got? Doesn't look like it's too badly beaten up for travelling all that way. So we've got a PLC 55P Pro. And apparently this thing is uh, CNC compatible, so it says. So let's have a go with that, eh? <laughs> so this is the one we done a couple of weeks ago, guys. This is the one I did the review on and an unboxing on. Uh, this is quite a nice machine. You see the difference, guys? This one here has got the air gauge right in front of it here. It's got exactly the same fittings down the bottom. Um, off on switch. This one here has a uh, post time, which you can alter the airflow coming out of your torch when you let go of the trigger to, to cool down your consumables a little bit. This one has got a, a preset on five seconds, I think. Same thing, we've got 10 amp, or uh, 55 amp. It's basically the same machine, just a little bit different style. Um, this one is, like I say, about 225 $235, whereas this one, I bought it for 199 I think they've still got them for 199 at present, or they may have gone up to to, to um, 212 possibly. But, uh, yeah. So like I say, I'm trying to find the best plasma cutter for under 300 bucks for you guys, you know. So what actually comes with this machine? Right, let's get into it, guys. So like I showed you before, guys, you get your air filter that goes on the back of this machine. And you get, I don't know how many sets of consumables. Let's have a look. But you need to know this so you don't get caught out whether you need to buy a plug or you need to buy more consumables or whatever. Because there's nothing worse if you get your new machine and you take it out of the box and half the shit's missing. I think that's crap anyway. So that's why I'm doing this to show you what you actually get, guys. And like I say, we'll do some review videos and an assembly video later on. So you get three shield caps. You get one, two, three cutting tips. Three cutting electrodes, so that's not too bad. That'll get anyone going to start off with. You get a couple of fittings, I presume, up for this air thing here. You get another air fitting and a couple of clips to do up your hoses. I presume this is the flexi hoses for doing the air line out the back. We'll do that when we assemble it. And you get this quite thin looking earth lead, which I think we might have to upgrade. But we'll do that when we do some testing on the machine, guys. Now what I like about this machine guys, is it comes with a PT80 torch, which is my favourite big torch if you've watched any of my videos before. And this one here, feels quite nice, it's quite weighty, it's got a uh, inbuilt off on switch, some of them have the trigger below, but one on the top works good as well. This has got a flame resistant cloth on it, whereas the other one is sort of rubber. Um, they both burn because I've had both types before and you just burn holes in both of them But I presume the cloth would last longer than the rubber Because I've got I'm a bugger for dropping lumps of shit on these these hoses lumps of hot steel And by the time you smell something burning you burn a big hole through the lead. That's just me though. I'm clumsy um, Pilot art same as usual same sort of fitting on here Now I notice they haven't put the ceramic on this torch Probably because it'll break in the packaging. That's why they put it separately so they can tuck it under the polystyrene or something. And you also get a free guide, I think, guys. A standoff guide with this thing. But I reckon you can use this machine without a standoff guide. So we'll have a look later. You get a stupid little crescent, like so. You get the cap that goes on the torch, like so. And you get a standoff guide like that, which just clips on here. Which is ideal if we're doing circles or some shit like that, but half the time I just do it freehand. But it depends if you've used a plasma cutter before. When you start using the plasma cutter, you're going to need everything you possibly can to stabilise your torch until you get the hang of it. Because I reckon plasma cutting is half of it is the machine, the other half of it is just the art of plasma cutting. But you'll get the hang of it in no time whatsoever, guys. So guys, that's what you get for 225 bucks or 230 bucks or something like that. Like I say, I'm trying to find the best plasma cutter for under $300. Every time Pete gets a new toy, it's like Christmas in the workshop. It's not really Christmas, but it just feels like Christmas. I love new toys, I mean tools. And I love showing you guys what you get for your money and how to use them. Anyway guys, same as usual, you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day in the comments below. Be sure to check out the other videos about this machine. Check up on this side for how to assemble the little bugger. And check up on that side over there and we'll do some testing and we'll do some cutting of some steel and see how it goes, eh? Yeah! See you guys. Bye. Oh, guys, if you want to check out this machine for yourself, I'll put my Amazon link down below. Check it out in the description. See ya!
PeteTools.com.